So in lesson nine, we learned about tables of equivalent ratios, and we did a problem very similar to this in class. However, I want to just reword it and see if we can um, do something very similar. Bill is setting up a fish tank. He is buying a breed of fish that typically grows to be eight inches long. It is recommended that there is one gallon of water for every inch of fish length in the tank. What is the recommended ratio of gallons of water per fully grown fish in the tank? Complete the ratio table. So I'm going to make one. Okay, I'm going to put number of fish and I'm also going to put gallons. Okay, and I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five. Okay, you know that one fish typically grows to be eight inches. I'm going to write that over here. Okay, one fish is eight inches. And it's recommended that there be one gallon of water for each inch of fish. So if there's eight inches here for one fish, okay, that means I need eight gallons. Two fish, 16 gallons. Three fish, 24. And we're skip counting by eight here. Eight, 16, 24, 32, and 40. Okay, there's two relationships really going on. This side is an additive pattern. We're adding by one on this side and by eight on this side. In between the fish and the gallons, there's a multiplicative uh, pattern. We're timesing each one by eight. Okay, so this helps us do a ratio table. Now, if I just gave you a ratio table without any headings, kind of like your homework this evening for lesson nine. And I just happen to fill some in and leave some blank. Let's see if you can solve what the problem is. Okay, you would have to take a look at your, um, your numbers here. Okay, and figure out if you can figure out what we're skip counting by here and what we're skip counting by here because you know each side of your ratio table has an additive property. Okay, I'm going to guess I'm counting by twos here. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, and here I have two parts of my ratio so I know in between is a multiplicative pattern. Four times five gives me twenty. So 2 times 5 is going to give me 10. 6 times 5 is going to be 30. 8 times 5 is going to give me 40. 10 times 5 is going to give me 50. So here the additive is plus 2. The additive on this side is plus 10. And the multiplicative is times 5. 